you will not see me whining. Yes, it is hard to build that subscriber list and it is hard to grow your YouTube channel. It is long run, it's no sprint, it's a marathon. But I do understand what you mean because I am there right now. It is the hardest platform I have ever used. It's the slowest one. You know, from my yesterday's video, I'm doing 90 day challenge of video every single day. And I know right now that I'm gonna stick to it. So my advice for small YouTubers, how to grow that channel faster, not get stuck because there's no such thing as getting stuck. You just need to put in more effort and work more effectively. My tips for you right now, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel, Lenka Katsala from growwithlenka.com, helping you hit your online breakthrough. I know that right now, when I'm filming this video, October 20th, I hope it's 20th, I am small now, but doing everything I can, putting all my effort into studying what I can do better, and helping you do the same. So let's do this together. If you're up to this, Nathan Lucas from Freedom Influencer actually started this challenge a few days ago, yesterday, two days ago, and it's 90 day challenge, a video every single day, so you can grow your channel faster. He actually called it 100K challenge. If you're up to this, put all in in the comments and let's support each other on the way up. Do the tips. First thing that I've already showed you, short intro. Intro that piques the interest. Intro where you either bring up the emotion or ask a question that is thought provoking in a way that you can actually pitch the video and people stay throughout that intro and actually watch what you have to say. And then get straight to the point. There's no time. You don't want to waste your audience's time. They came for something. That your title was catchy, your thumbnail was created in the right way, so they have to click and they want the value delivered. They want to have fun, they want to see the tutorial, the how-to, they want to hear the tips, and they want the help that you've promised. Always focus on the value and give it to the people as soon as possible. And throughout, the entire video make sure that you're grabbing their attention it needs to stay because you don't want them to leave after one or two minutes you want if your video is 10 minutes long you want them to watch at least 60 percent of that video so you need to take their attention and really grab it and keep it throughout the video so stay tuned for more tips before you even start, and you know that because I'm saying that in every single video, you need to do the research first. You need to know what your audience wants to see in your niche, what the influencers that are absolutely crushing it are doing right now. You can go to their profile, click on the video and sort it out in your right hand corner that will be sorted out by the popularity. And you want to see what they're doing, what are their crushing videos that have the biggest views and that are the top and learn from them study those videos because you see some trends what kind of topics how people react how they crafted the video what is the beginning middle and end how they tell stories how they are actually editing those videos study the channels that are crushing it that's crucial before you do anything but don't procrastinate don't wait until you have the perfect equipment don't wait until you have the perfect background just start and do it Take your first video, your 10 video, and I highly recommend with the consistency, you want to get it as much as possible. Throughout the summer, I was doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three times a week, some bonus videos. And I've actually realized I can do daily videos. So here, we, here I am doing daily videos from now on. And as I said, stop procrastinating. You don't need perfect stuff. I'm using my phone as well right now. I do have a camera. But it's just so much easier to press play anywhere I want, anytime I want, and go and record a video for you, especially when I'm on a daily basis and I don't have as much time to record them and I have only small blocks of time to do the videos. But here I am using my phone. The lighting, if you don't have professional setup, I admit I do because I have invested in that years ago because I was even doing videos for my clients like in B2B business to business sector. So I do have that, wasn't been using that as much 
either. If you're not doing professional videos and you really have the time, now I have this little setup, that's why a few videos right now have been on this couch <laughs> in our guest room because I have that studio right now set up, but I will do other videos in other environments as well. You don't want to get it boring. <laughs> Regarding boring, 10x your energy. People always you don't talk like that. No, I don't talk like that when I am in real life because you don't want your energy to be like that. And really talking about videos with no energy because nobody wants to hear such tips. Seriously, I'm not that loud. I don't speak that fast. My voice is not that squeaky. My husband, oh, it drives my husband crazy actually see my videos because he knows I don't talk like this get your energy up people don't want to see boring videos remember the camera adds 10 pounds and gets 50 percent of your energy down so you need to really double that 10x your energy 10x it everything that you do your content your quality your volume everything and if you bring you don't have anything professional back to the equipment maybe use your daylight Use your daylight, use your phone, and be the best version of yourself every single time you press that record button. When you don't have mic, use quiet place, small room, because when you have big rooms, there's some kind of echo, and I know that's the word in English, you can see you are in empty big room and you can hear it in the sound and it doesn't have that high quality. So you want to make sure it's smaller room, and it's quiet so you don't have too many noses closest windows everything that is outside will be recorded and if you don't have a mic a lot of that noise in the background will be caught so make sure that you have quiet place so audio video quality and quality of your content lighting is very important so with consistency of course you need to be patient i get that it's hard it's part of the journey with the consistency make sure that when you cannot do daily videos go at least on regular basis once a week three times a week but make sure your audience knows when you will be up that way they actually can expect new content coming if you have irregular posts first you will not be rewarded by that by youtube you will just not be shown and ranked as high. And second, your audience has no point of subscribing. Why would they subscribe when they have no idea when new video is coming? Also with your audience, the best way to connect and get that instant touch is look in the lenses. When you have camera, you look directly in the lens. When you have phone, there's the little black dot with lenses and you are always watching the lens. It's hard to talk to a little black hole, but that way on video, you see the eye contact with the person you are talking to. And you have a conversation with your audience, with that person. I have conversation with you right now. And if I watch myself, look, now I watch myself and it's completely different than if I'm talking to you directly. Next thing that I can help you with is really, again, the title, the research, at being searchable when you're starting don't even try to push the name of the channel and branding you can do that later on when you actually have the audience and influence if you call your video vlog number three and four our family goes there and there who cares you know make it something catchy something like the place and what happened you know why is that interesting why people want to watch it or you want to be really researchable. If it's a place where people go to, make sure that you really have that in your title and the catchy stuff in the thumbnail so people actually want to see what happened. But when people are researching the place, you need in that title and in the description to be researchable, work on the optimization so they can actually find your content. YouTube needs to know that your content is about that place and why it's interesting. You can put that in the thumbnail. What happened? Like some fun stuff. 
that way you can be found and you will be catchy and you'll have that pitch for the video in your thumbnail so people will want to click on it and watch the video if they won't find you and if you won't be interesting enough they will never watch it and it doesn't matter how great the video is with promoting your videos there's one big huge no which happens all the time we see it every single day and that's spamming the contents never never be really spamming in a way sub for sub go watch my video with a link go subscribe to my channel what i do is be engaging i do watch videos that are helpful for me that are helping me from influencers in my niche that i really learn from and i engage i react to their videos and i put value in the comments myself that way I can start a conversation and actually get people to discover me rather than really pitch my content and my channel to them. I let them see the value and actually check out because they can see that I do have a channel since I do have a subscribers to it and check out who I am and what I'm about. So for you too, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe and hit the, the little bell notification button to actually get notified when new videos are out. Really appreciate you and welcome to our online stores family. And tip for a little bit maybe bigger channels that already are monetized. I have one small tip about that and that is don't monetize too soon because the moment usually you cross that line, I see people just spamming their videos with ads and it's not something that your audience is used to you want to do it maybe slowly and second you don't have still that influence and traffic when you have that influencer position you have big channels it does not matter that much because people do want to see the videos they are so hungry to, to hear every single word and learn or get entertained and they don't mind watching those videos but as a small one it can be actually killing your audience and your content so right now focus on traffic sources and your watch time because that's what matters and that's what will help you grow and skyrocket your channel at this moment make sure that you know where people are come from you are ranking and people stay and watch the entire video that's what you need you need the watch time so I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell notification bell button, and I'm looking forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye guys.